day four of the conference and it's our last day but it's not the last day of the conference and for us it's definitely not gonna be the last conference we are visiting but before we have to leave we are gonna see a discussion called science journalism in a post-truth world and we're gonna take it there A belief is much stronger than knowledge. People stick to beliefs, so how do you undermine a belief? You know, it's exactly the same like uh, uh, radicalism. You know, everybody's asking oneself these days, how do you fight against that? What are the best tools? If somebody knew, they would have found it. We haven't found yet. And when somebody uh, tells you uh, that's the solution, that's the idea, and it's very simple, then you should be aware. And you have to let the people who listen to you or who uh, read you, that they should be cautious. At the Science Media Center, just as an ideal, is the ideal that some people sit in an office and observe science, what's coming up, what the debates are going on, and can we inject some scientific expert expertise then when people listen. That's basically the idea. Can we do it more professionally and then distribute what we found to different types of journalists in different media to be more effective? Well, science is provisional and science moves on. And I think that's a problem for the audience. That's another way for, for, the, for the, those who distrust science to get back at science. To say, you never, oh, you told us last week it was this, now you're saying it's that. And that's just another aspect of how that we have to get across to people the sciences is always changing, is always moving on, is not a fixed body of knowledge. I think it's important that we don't take on um, a true purist ideal in, in saying that now we are only kind of communicating or investigating uh, the truth and the truth only, but, but that we also acknowledge that uh, science journalism as well as the entire actually science ecosystem is also a market of emotions. No matter how elitist or how peer-reviewed or how prestigious the scientists are, of course they are also subject uh, to feelings and emotions and they use them actively. A lot of the stuff that takes place at the ground floor in science is never being communicated. So I would say, you know, instead of going for like uh, putting really a, a stop to the post-truth area, we should start inviting people in to become co-creators or participants in the scientific method. In letting people know the ins and the outs and the dead ends and the negative results and, you know, all the problems and aha moments we have in the laboratory. That's the only moment where we have a chance to uh, build the bridge between science and society. Thank you for uh, coming here, all of you. Thank you. That was the very last thing we saw from the conference. Unfortunately, we have to go home today, but... But before we drive home, we're gonna meet Jens and yeah, we're curious to hear about his thoughts. What would you say, why is it so important to have such conferences nowadays? No, I think that uh, the whole um, journalism has changed very much uh, the later years. And because of all these changes in, in, in journalism, we have to organize ourselves better and be much more innovative and uh, also share our ideas. Because otherwise, um, journalism or the science journalism will, will die out or be sidelined. If you could um, say science communicators or science journalists in a few sentences what you would like to tell them since ever, what would that be? No, I think that uh, you and we uh, should not look backwards in the past, we should actually look forward and be much more innovative and see how we can use new media better and also uh, be more flexible, change our strategies 
and also be much more entrepreneurial, the way we sell our stories. I think everyone we talked to really liked this conference so far and they said it was organized very well and the speakers and everything they heard, they learned a lot, they got into networking. But did you learn also something from the organization side or for your personal um, side? Yeah, no, I, I think I learned a lot. I learned a lot about working together with people and also delegate and, um, and also trust in other people that, um, that you have to trust other people, but, but not too much, but uh, to a certain level. So what are you going to do at the end of this week? Uh, I will do my tax declaration because the deadline is uh, the 2nd oh, of no. July. <laughs> and I haven't done, I really haven't had time to do it. So I'll do them on Saturday. <laughs> to put it very much up in my head because otherwise I'll forget it. <laughs> I thought you maybe could go out and relax. <laughs> yeah, I would wish so. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to yeah. be here. Thank you for the interview and yeah. also thank you for organizing this wonderful yeah. event. Thank you and thank you for coming. That's really fun. Yeah.